Hello everyone, it's Benjamin Wara here and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how to implement a drag and drop system into your game using Unity. Let's begin. The drag and drop system can be used in various different ways in many games. However, in this case I'm just going to show you a point click, mouse drag and mouse drop system that can be used for UI elements inside of the canvas. For this purpose I created this scene filled with UI images that we will be able to move like so at the end of the video. So let's jump straight into Unity. So the scene that we currently have has five passport images that are located inside of the canvas and the canvas has an event system. The way that this is going to work is that we're going to be creating a single script that we're going to be adding to all images so that we allow them to be moved by the mouse of the player. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is to actually add the script. Let's go to an image and add the drag and drop script. Going into Visual Studios, we want to start off by creating a variable called rectransform of type rectransform. Then in the start method, we want to go ahead and get the component rectransform from the object. Afterwards, we want to state that we're going to be using Unity Engine systems so we can access the event systems properties inside of the canvas. Then next to mono behavior, we want to go ahead and add the iDrag handler, which is an interface that will allow us to receive on drag callbacks. Then we want to add its appropriate interface, which I'm going to do so automatically with Visual Studio's error correction. Just copy it down if you don't have the feature. Then delete the error stop. Then make rectransform.anchored position plus equals eventdata.delta. And that's it, it's that simple. Now we can go back to our scene and assign the script to all the images that we want to drag and drop, and then we can hit play to see our results. Anyways guys, I hope you liked the video. Leave a like if you did, and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below of what would you like me to do next. I'll read it and I'll consider it. Anyways guys, goodbye.